one month away? Just one? Really? How y'all doing? Hopefully well. Been a minute, hasn't it? Truth be told, I've just been busy. I've just been busy. Things are coming to a, a, a point in my life. And I'm, I'm having to just take time to make sure stuff is done, things are attended to, and then, you know, whatever. Either way, this is going to be a real busy month for me. In a number of ways. Firstly, the Doomsday Clock is very much one minute to midnight in my neck of the woods. If, if, if you're all aware of the whole impending twin apocalypse thing. Impending. Impending. There is a due date. Twins typically don't hit it, they tend to come early. So, that's in the back of my mind. Uh, what else is on the back of my mind? The fact that like four different things are going on in the next few weeks, aside from twins that I could actively choose to work on. 
One's gonna be sponsored, so that's gonna have to take priority. I know sponsored videos do absolute dog shit on my channel, but boy, do they pay well. And I need the money. <laughs> I need the money, damn it. But that, that's not today. That's not today. Happy to see everyone. Happy to see everyone. But yeah, up to my neck in chores, uh, buying things, prep, prep work. A lot of preparation. But yeah, this this should be interesting. I know nothing about this mod, which is called uh, the thing you can't defeat. Version two, apparently. I know nothing save for a thumbnail and the fact that it's um. Do you play it with Doom One? Let me double check that before I get into that. I do have the Doom World thing open. I did have the Doom World thing open. Where's it gone? <laughs> There it is. Uh, let me see. Ultimate Doom, yeah. Mighty Perth on that note, all the best with new V1s. Hoping it's easy delivery. Oh, me too. Me too. I'm, I'm happy with this, uh, you know, Touchwood not being in the middle of a pandemic because being housebound for the first two years of my first child's life was um, less than ideal. What else? Lion, thank you so much for the 47 months, by the way. <laughs> one more. One more month. I feel like I need to update the dudes. It's been years that I've been using the dudes, but I want to try something different. By the title of this Doom Wad, you've seen a video on a Hungarian YouTube called Oscar Sai, who also played it. Okay. So, so, so what you're telling me there is someone else has also played it besides me. Good to know. I'm, I'm glad, you know, I'm not the only one playing these things. 71 months. Thank you so much, Rupert. How you doing? But yeah, it'll be nice if, if things go reasonably well when the twins get here. Um, you know, we'll be able to do some outdoor, you know, family stuff. It'll be nice. Things will be open. I dare say I may even go to a theme park slash zoo during the course of this. Because I've been meaning to do that for a while. There's a place called Flamingo Land in the middle of um like the North York Moors. <laughs> it's a zoo and a theme park. But yeah, the commands are back. And Rapard, thank you so much for 51 mo moots. <laughs> I was reading, I was, I wanted to say months, but I was reading doot at the same time I was trying to say it. You have irritated the tool gods. You must now be smeared with the holy grease of disdain. Anyway. The mod. Let's make sure we do OG Doom. Uh? A lot of loading already. There we go. So, before I forget... Put the goddamn screen. Now, the other thing that I, I, I try to do here is I try to get the stream to record in general and hope I don't suffer any kind of um, performance hit. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the record button. That's going to do all the usual gubbins. So I'll have a little bit of uh, webcam recording. That worked quite well for the, the the Halo video highlight thing, by the way. I'm still finessing how to do it, but it, it came in handy. Anyway. This is... an enigmatically named mod. Called The Thing You Can't Defeat. I've um, read absolutely nothing about it, save for the fact that I should read nothing about it. Uh, th there's a thumbnail. Tells me nothing, and apparently it runs with OG Doom. On GZ Doom, that's an important thing. So you know the shenanigans, at the very least. But yeah, as with any of these things. Apparently, you just, you just gotta try it for yourself, man. The spoilers. Spoilers ahoy. 
Don't want to do it to myself. Yeah. The things seem kind of normal so far. I, I've been told that things do start normal. So we'll see how it goes. I know a lot of people may shit on me for using mouse look, but I feel like if I don't have the crosshair, that kind of evens out. I don't have auto aim. I don't have crosshair. Ah, bad time to look away. OG Doom and GZ Doom, you got a bad feeling. I detect shenanigans. Always shenanigans. In terms of other things I've been planning, I've been I've been planning for the impending um, twin adult schedule that I'll be dealing with later on down the line. Uh, I'm thinking of doing some challenge runs, some challenge streams. Something a little different from the usual. One that certainly caught my attention recently was Toby Doom. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Toby Doom, but it's an accessibility mod uh, intended to assist partially sighted people when playing Doom. Oh yeah, that was strange. I'm trying to remember how to get that down. No, there's a way to do it, but I always forget how to do it. Terrible with remembering how the secrets operate. Ah, oh, it's one of the line depths around here. Okay. I've always got a vague recollection of how the secrets operate. Hmm. Hmm. This is a friendly reminder to save. Save often. Save safely. That'll spoil the fun! into mission music. Okay. It's just minor stuff so far. Little bits and bobs that I've noticed. Mm, that's weird. That's not usual. Music looping. A little off towards the end of the loop. Kind of overlapped with this. It was that texture in the secret in E1M1. I'm pretty sure isn't isn't usually there. Also, this is this is slow. <laughs> the music is slow. But yeah, I'm just feeling my way through this, so yeah, definitely um Try to avoid talking about it if you've already played it. This is me going in blind. I'm a fan of this, if I'm gonna be honest. I, I like mods where I'm explicitly told to just play the damn thing. And not, um... Not really look too deep into the details. Yeah, some, like, elements missing. Little bits of level that are either mistextured from the usual, or just missing a chunk outright. There's usually like a mirror of this. I love mods that are built specifically to fuck with people who have a heavy degree of familiarity with Doom. I'm definitely in that, uh, in that particular group. There we go again with the texture, that gray texture. It's always one of the worst looking textures as well. When you when you get right right up to it and start, you know, really sniffing it. It's just <laughs> It's one of them textures.
<laughs> this is a creepy type mod. Yes, it is, Brizov. Thank you for the 58 months. That that actually spooked me a bit. I'm 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 kind of on edge already. I know to expect weirdness and the, the sub noise. Oh wait, this is off. The sub noise is already kind of fucking with me. Yep, 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 yep. Fuckery. Fuckery. It's like the, the, the reality of the level itself is starting to kind of decay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is getting a bit... This is getting a bit more explicit in its fuckery. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Mm. Mm. Corruption. Slow, insidious corruption. This reminds me of um, some posts I saw on Twitter not too long ago. His name is Jimmy. He was posting uh, screenshots of Doom levels, but with just enough like, recognizable aspects missing. Basically turning what was once recognizable into this really strange liminal version of itself. Really strange, but effective. And I can't help but wonder whether um, you know, this may have played some kind of influence in that. Oh, it's outright blocked off. It's so weird. <laughs> It's such a weird feeling. Tweak just enough details. Just realized. Floor squares. Oh, no. The... It's not an outright music dropout either. There's like, there's like this background white noise. And then picks back up again. Oh, it's messing with me. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. What, what do we call this new genre of, um, of, of mod? I, I doubt it's anything explicitly new, but I feel like there's been a there's been a rash of them lately, starting with my house. Things start off relatively normal and then just get stranger and stranger. That didn't even let me get to the exit. That just... That just kicked me out. Yeah, I would not advise playing this uh, on a severe sleep depo deficit. Let me try that again. I wouldn't recommend playing this on a severe sleep deficit. Fucking with 30 years of muscle memory, Bruce. Yes. So what was I saying earlier? I was I was talking about challenge r uh, runs. I was uh, potentially interested in doing. I want to do a blindfold run. There's uh, Toby Doom, which is intended for partially sighted players, and I like the idea of trying to put that muscle memory that was just brought up into effect, and uh, try and do E1 OG Doom with uh, with Toby Doom accessibility mod blindfolded or at least wearing a sleep mask that could be a fun challenge run that i'm um i'm willing to do i'd probably have to bring up some rules and regulations for um when i'm allowed to you know look because you know once once in a while i'm gonna have to you know get up and go pee yeah it sounds like fun 
thought I'd mention it now. So I'm a believer of um, if you mention something out loud, especially with witnesses, you're more likely to, you know, actually commit to the idea of what you're going to do. Now, did that just stay down? I'm sure that's never as easy as, as, as how I just did it there. Also, the, the... Ooh, it's missing. It's missing. Is it just that one? That... Oh, yeah, the whole Soul Sphere room is gone. Oh, fuck. I don't know if that one's intentional, but, you know... I'll I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. But yeah, there's definitely like a weird filter effect on the soundtrack in the background that's messing with me. Which don't work. You could you could easily like add some lore to this. You found it on a floppy disk in the id software car park. Is it Austin, Texas? Is it Austin? No, it wasn't Austin, Texas. The original um, office that id set up. In a hidden compartment in a dumpster in the back of the old id software offices. There's a copy of Doom. An early version. Unseen until this very day. Seeing a source engine error mesh would be funny. I think that'd be a bit too on the nose. It would be funny. But I think it would uh, it would break the tension a little. Uh, I'm I'm happy to have this build that consistent feeling of wrong. And it's doing a great job of it. It's just it shouldn't be. This, this... It shouldn't be. Was the skybox always missing? Or did it block off on the way back? Ah, uh, ha <laughs> ha. It, it has changed? I'm so... Oh. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Secret entrance ramp. I need a blue card to open this door. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, it's it's just it's delightfully wrong. Delightfully wrong. Oh, that's neat. That was seamless. Oh, that was absolutely seamless. That's brilliant. Oh, no, what? Yeah, completely flipping me around now. Completely flipping my muscle memory and my mental map of this on its head. Can't go through those. memories of me door busting in the uh, hideous destructor run uh, i should give it a hideous destructor run another another go sometime maybe that can be another challenge run for me do a blindfold run i'll do a, a hideous destructor run not blindfolded by the way that, that, that that's a little too much we'll, we'll find out some gimmicks that we can uh, implement
Because basically, when uh, when it's when the twin apocalypse happens, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to spend a lot of time making usual uh, Doom Mod Madness videos for a good long while. So my idea is to do more interesting streams and you know highlight them, do highlight versions of them, and then full versions for the for the archive, which I might add is nearly at a thousand subscribers over on YouTube. So if, if there's anyone who who can help me out on getting that over a thousand, that'll be great. Because when it goes over a thousand, I can monetize it. And God, I really need to monetize that stuff. Should you go play this blind shy? Yes, you really should. Nugget, is that Doom Floppy that's possessed by the ghost of some dead girlfriend or whatever? She's driving you insane. She's getting you to fight the actual devil. Or, the, or the, the, the cursed floppy disk found in the back lot of, um, of id Software's original office. You can workshop the lore. It, instead of like a secret compartment in a dumpster, it's like a secret compartment under the floor of Carmack's old office. A forbidden floppy. Uh -huh. Corruption is spreading. Oh shit. Was that a bigger sprite than usual or was he just on a step? I think he was just on a step. It's like a weird echo to the soundtrack now as well and the walls moving. Oh god. I, I've always loved the, the, the chain reaction barrels. Without fail, I always do it. Okay. But yeah, all bets are thoroughly off now. Considering what happened during the course of uh, that last level. Um... Now I'm gonna quick save. <laughs> Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Oh yeah, this maze is like the perfect place to mess with me. You could put so many invisible jumps in this, and invisible transitions, that I, I could feasibly be stuck in this section for the rest of the freaking playthrough. Fucking minute. It's mashing levels together now. Oh, it opens. I wasn't expecting it to open. <laughs> Everything is being gray boxed out of existence. Is this what happens when Doom Guy realizes that he's a video game character? When he achieves sentience within the game? The fabric just starts to rip and tear itself apart. <laughs> Shy fly, you ain't paying playing this shit alone. <laughs> Okay, so now it's stitched me wholesale into that level. It all loops. Okay. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. This is really creative.
<laughs> Nugget, you're gonna send a polite cease and desist. <laughs> So yeah, it's has it has it skipped one? It feels too early in the year for spooky mods, right? I'm used to them all being like smushed together in, in the tail end of October. Is is spring early summertime the new spooky season? It feels like it is. No monster closets. I'm just barely recognizing what these levels used to be now, just by layout. But they're still mm, they're smushed. God, I'm glad I'm not playing this with uh <laughs> with a few beers in me. This would be hellish. Oh. Do I wanna go into the gray hole? I'm not sure. Oh good, it still it still lets me out. You know, um You know what be real king shit? Is if I take a little bit of a peek through one of these missing texture bits and then there's just something looking back at me. If that happens Firstly I'm gonna crap my pants. And secondly, I will then begin to clap. My hands, specifically. What the void puddles do, uh, they, they impede you. I don't think you can, uh, you can actually go any further. You just can't go through them. Just noticing the overwhelming lack of any monsters. Actually, starting to worry me. <laughs> well, at least the auto map still works. I'm, I'm like, I'm clenching. I'm, I'm, I'm spiritually clenching. And, and physically. It's a good workout. Nuts. Mm -hmm. Auto map's gone. Auto map's gone. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm looping! Completely gone. Auto map's completely gone. You know how fun would it be? I don't know if it's actually doing that, but how fun would it be? Ah, oh, fuck. If every time you tried to check the auto map, the level changed out, right? But yeah, you got you got a map of it, but uh, it's gonna be useless every time you tab. Oh hey, thank God a door. Worried I was gonna be kind of stuck in the looping forever. Uh. Got another void puddle. I'm not playing Nuts Line. 
Oh, you could have fooled me. So yeah, yeah. They impede you outright. You can't go through them. Oh, hey, monsters. It's almost a relief. drinking nothing strong enough for this uh dr dr pepper i was trying to think of a fun name dr bib oh no i'm being boxed in <laughs> each intermission screen is simultaneously a relief and a threat. That's 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 a special feeling. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I could, um, send a message several hours back in time. Pass self and say, just don't, just don't, don't do it to yourself, but, you know. <sighs> so, yeah, we can class this under the pantheon of uh, Lilith, my house. What else could we lump under this? Oh, oh god, that's... That's unpleasant. What that actually opens? <laughs> oh, come on. My brain is injured. <laughs> I have a brain injury. I don't even need to speak anymore. You guys are exactly reading my thoughts and intentions. Oh. It's unpleasantly trippy. Right, I got the yellow key card. <laughs> It's the strobes that are killing me the most. Oh, uh, I don't I don't easily get motion sick. But there's a combination of of textures that are scrolling that that starts to make my stomach do a little bit of a a little bit of a flip. Someone in chat just taking notes. How to make Icarus throw up on camera.
Maybe that should be another challenge stream. How long can I go before I throw up? Okay, not that one. Oh, the strobes in here are extra unpleasant. It's like having an uncomfortable dream about doom. Oh god, yeah. I feel like all I can do is make faces. So yeah. Definitely a whole pantheon of mods influenced by New Weird. House of Leaves is a, is, is a, has a lot to answer for, doesn't it? I've not read it. I'm, I'm aware of it. But, man. I think the closest thing in terms of reference that I've uh, I've read recently is um, the Annihilation trilogy. Is it Jeff Vandermeer, the author? It was turned into that film with Natalie Portman, which is horrifying in its own right. Would recommend. But the books, those are a journey. Oh god, into the formless void we go. Oh god, this computer station left. But we'd already done a bit of computer station. Not that it matters at this point. That's just ominous. It's the most ominous fucking hallway I've seen. With all the build-up, th this is testament to build-up. It really is. It spends all this time introducing the elements and then just full sends it by this point and you're like... You're thoroughly in in nope mode. I think what gets me the most is I've got this overpowering urge to turn around. But, but I don't want to. Again, at some point I might have to. I am moving. monsters. Button still works though. <laughs> I want to be relieved, but I don't believe it for a fucking second. <laughs>
He's not done Phobos Anomaly yet. <laughs> it just crashes. Of course. <laughs> How embarrassing. Ah, that's a bit like an anti-climax, really. <laughs> uh? Apparently this is intended. Okay! <laughs> oh. well, I'm gonna be thinking about that all day. Oh, that was, that was, that was strange. So, oh fuck. No, don't crash OBS. Oh my God. So this happens to me every, every time, every, every now and again, sorry. I'm, I'm probably still live right now, but when I stop recording, I get this. I don't know if you can see it on screen, but I got, I got the OBS crash error when I stop and it starts, um, mixing the recording in the background. So OBS is going to kill my stream for a second. I'm going to bring it back online. Be right back. <laughs> 